Hi everyone, so today I'm not doing a Notion video, so which is something not usual for me. But the idea is that I want to kind of branch out to providing like interesting tools that can actually help business owners to kind of use uh, for their daily business. So today we're going to highlight on look at JotForm. So it's a form tool that I've been trying out uh, lately. So one of the things I find interesting is that it actually allows you to create forms. You can think of like Google Forms or Microsoft Forms. But the difference is that it allows you to do a lot of customization. So one important thing is that it allows you to have an e-signature or like a digital signature. So people can go in the form and they can sign it. And then their free plan is quite uh, generous. They provide like a free money 100 submissions. So it's quite useful like if you don't use uh, forms that often. If you want to pay them, they have a play plan as well. So here in this case, I was kind of doing a different use case. So I'm trying to create this uh, test assessment. It's called DAS. So basically it's referring to uh, depression, anxiety and stress scale. So I actually use it quite a lot in my professional training as a counselor where we kind of uh, provide this test to people and kind of have regularly kind of see like where you're at, you know, what's your anxiety level, things like that. So these are part of our questionnaires. So the interesting thing about this that I like is once you do all the tests, right, you immediately, immediately give you the test results. So which uh, can't really do that, can't really do that with uh, Google Form or Microsoft Form. So you can imagine I like, can do a lot more like elaborate uh, different tests, personality tests, or just as a company, you want to show people, right, oh, Maybe you want to show them to have free gifts based on the things that's selected, stuff like that. So that can be done. So today I'm going to just showcase uh, how this form works. And then I'll show a very quick tutorial on how you can kind of build this form as well. So here you select the gender. So you can just select anything. So email, just put optional. So it's a good way to kind of collect newsletter as well, like or just information like you want for your potential clients. So I'm going to just do the test, like I'm not going to look through it. Just kind of click it like, so basically, this is a kind of test to just test your mental well-being. Let's see where you're standing at. And then if you feel like it's actually quite high and then you need help, then that's where you can get it. Another good thing about JotForm is that they also sync with uh, Google Sheets. So anything, every time people submit a new uh, test, then it automatically go to Google Sheets. It's really helpful. Like you can get the data, you can do further testing there. So we can see from here, like we have the results here so depression level extremely severe 32 anxiety level moderate 33 i'm not sure why this is moderate maybe there's some coding error which we can explore later and then stress level extremely severe 31 so this there's a logic behind it so basically depending on the score it kind of uh give them the levels of how um, severe they are so if you like lower than i think the logic is like lower than nine you'll be at normal means that you are not that stressed you're not that depressed or anxiety anxious so yeah so now I'm going to show you how this form can be built. So for starter, you go to this main page here and then just select create form. And then you can start from scratch or you can have all the templates as well. So we just start from scratch and then classic form. And now just skip this part. All right. So once you're here, so they ask you to like drag your first question here from the left. So a little bit different from uh, Google Sheets or Microsoft form, like they use something called elements. So it's like here you can see like there's heading, full name, email address, like all the comments, like forms, features that we would need. They are all here. And then another interesting things, they do also have like payment options here. You can use Square, PayPal, Business, Stripe. Uh, there's a lot of different, different ways. It's actually quite extensive amount of selections. And then they also have something called widgets. So widgets is something, uh, it's not really a little bit like your phone widgets. I kind of like that, but I will call this more like an advanced functionality that uh, is not available in a basic form. So you can see there are quite interesting options that I haven't fully tried yet, uh, all of them. So they're like unique ID, maybe like you can use the oh, thumb fingerprint. And then you can have a uh, checklist, take a photo, and then signature. So which is something I use as well, like just provide e-signature. And then form calculations, this is something that we'll be using for this uh, example here tutorial, just to kind of showcase how you can actually build the logic. Okay, so first, just do the simple one. We want to get the full name. Let's just get the name here. And then maybe don't even need a name, right? So maybe just want the email address. So just want to get you know, who they are. And then we can get the drop down to get their gender. So you can have it here. And then here at the options, you can select uh, male, female, maybe others. Okay. And then you can kind of select whether you want to make it mandatory or not. So here you have a required uh, button here. Just click it required. It means that it's mandatory. And then next we want to have a list of questions, right? So single choice. 
So this time, uh, question number one, and then type option one, two, three, four. And then this is where, maybe just do another one again. So another way you can do it quicker is just duplicate it. And then we have two questions now. Okay. So I'm just going to have two questions, so not going to have too many. And then next, we just select widget, uh, select form calculations, and then just drag it down here. And then maybe result, uh, maybe the score result. So we will calculate uh, based on the selection they have, right? Then how much, how many score they have. So another thing you want to do is just, you need to kind of assign the values based on the selection they have, right? So how much value does option one uh, equals to, like one, two, three, four? So you can select properties, and then you can select, I think it should be at once, if I'm not mistaken. Fill details, I am mistaken. So it's option, I think. Okay, so select options and then calculation values. So they can see this very helpful like type option here. So option one, two, three, four. So this is kind of how you uh, assign the value. So for my case, like I just put uh, zero, one, two, three. And then same thing for question number two. I'll do this as well. And then I'll do calculation values, zero, one, two, three. So if you're smart, like you can just duplicate this earlier and then you'll get the same result as well. But yeah, basically this is how we have it. And then next we go to the score result. Let me just close this. And then you can see this like a widget setting, just click it. And then there's like an add field. So this is where you kind of do the calculations. So basically what I want is I want question one plus question two. I'll kind of see just, you know, what's the total score they have. So question one, and then I click plus. So you cannot type plus, I tried it, it doesn't work. <laughs> Which is not the most, uh, smoothest way to do it. So question one, question two. So once you have it right, so I can just go to a preview form. And then I'll just select uh, question type two and then two, you can see this two again. So maybe I change to four, you can see one plus three equals four. And then you notice one thing is that oh, we can actually change here. Maybe something that we don't want. So we'll just quit preview and then go to at once. I think you can hide the field. Oh, no, hide the field. Oh, no, 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 no. For, yeah, there's another confusing things like for widgets. So in order to prevent people from changing array. So what you need to do is uh, select this widget setting. And then this three dot here, like it's very small. Select it and then go to option. And then result field is read only. So once you click this and then make sure you go back and then save it. Yeah, it's very, very confusing. But so once the, you have this right, so the user won't be able to uh, change this. So what this means is that technically even if they don't click submit right like what i showed you earlier so you can click here and then click here and then they can already see the results you know you can now i can't change it so because i changed the setting right so technically they already can see the results so how, how does this work then because just now i show like this different level of test so i have like a depression result depression score result maybe depression score and then i have another anxiety score and then uh and then depression anxiety and stress so in this case, like, I'll kind of just duplicate it to showcase it. So how I did is like, I have just different score levels. So of course, at the end, when you see the formula, they won't show this. It just won't be shown in the form because I'll be hiding this. I will just want to show the end results. So in this case, maybe just I have another uh, questions. So maybe question number three. So for anxiety score, it will only uh, captures question number three in this case. So just close this and then select widget setting and then add field, same thing. So question three. So since we only have one, we just have one. So each of these also represent uh, zero, one, two, three. So that way, like once you select uh, the questions, you can kind of mix and match. So sometimes a lot of times like for assessment tests, they are like, so it's like maybe question one, two, one, three, four, five is equals to depression score, maybe two, six, seven, eight, nine equals anxiety scores. So that's kind of how you can mix and match. And then once it's like it, they'll be able to see it. So now that we have it here, so we can kind of hide this. So we don't want them to see this actually. Uh, so we can hide the field and then just close it. So basically they won't be able to see it. So you kind of see or know why we want to do this later. So once it's uh, hide it, and then you can go to settings, go to thank you page. So this is where you can like change kind of what they will be able to see like once they submit it. 
So I don't change the original text. Maybe I'll just say like, oh, this is a depression score. And I think that's the anxiety score. So you kind of just type it out. And maybe just pull it, look it better. Make it look better. Can't speak properly. And then here you can see there's an add fill button. So basically just press it. And then you can see the, the all these are the questions, all the fields that we have. So basically I only want to show the depression score. So just here, depression score, and here anxiety score. So what would happen is that once they submit the score, right, they will be, be able to see uh, this score here. So let me just kind of do like a demo right now, since we're almost there. So I select uh, female, and then question, question, question. So you can see I won't be able to see the results anymore. And I just click submit. So I can see here, so they have depression score and anxiety score. So that's almost what we have, but it's not a little bit different though, because you see like in my earlier uh, examples, I actually have like showing like how severe they are, like depending on the logics. So this is where you need to build in the logics. Um, it can be slightly more complicated, but not so much. So basically just add another form calculation. I'm not too sure whether you need this, but I just use this uh, since this is what I kind of know. And you might be able to use just a text as well though. Maybe I just use text instead. Okay, let's just use text. Don't think we did this one. So we just name this as a uh, depression result. And then we're gonna do... So I just put like a default, it's like, I don't know, maybe normal. It's a default. And then just hide it so they won't be able to see it because we want to show this in once they submit it. So next thing is you go to settings and then condition. So if you have done programming before, like, so this is where you kind of use, like, if the number is this, you want to show this, if this, if not, then you will show another results. So you select update calculated field, update or slash, I think. Okay. So please select a field. So we're going to select, um, depression score and then state. So maybe if the depression score is greater than, let's see, maybe greater than three, and then you do something. So in this case, you want to copy a fuse value, copy multiples, calculate a fuse value, and then you want to show it to depression result. So in this case, you just want to show the, so if, uh, I don't think in this one, right, copy as fuse value. Yeah, we don't want to copy. So basically you want this formula here. So if depression score is greater than three, so maybe say like uh, severely depressed, for example. So it, of course it's not, because we just show the example. So we'll just type severely so depressed and then just save it. So what will happen is that when our score is uh, more than three, and then it will show severely so depressed. So I'm gonna go to the setting again, and then go to thank you page. And then here, instead of just showing the scores only, so I'll also add the results as well. So depression results, and then maybe once I have this, just close this up, and then maybe just add a space, and then maybe just like a bracket. So you can like, see the contrast once I submit again. So let's see. So idea is that we want it to be more than three. So, but I don't think it will go to more than three, right? But it's fine then. So male, you can select answers again. I think you can, maybe just select all of them. And then click submit. Let's see. Okay, you can see like if it's more than three, right now it's actually uh, writing as severely depressed. And then six. So here I didn't make any changes. So yeah, that's kind of how we can actually create a form using uh, this short form, which is extremely helpful. So yeah, if you like the video, give it a like and thumbs up, and then, or you can just follow me. Thank you.